you too what's going on y'all it's your boy good life forever and i'm back with another video i'm finally back i know it's been a month i took a little bit of youtube break and i take a lot of youtube breaks by the way but i'm back on it you know what i'm saying so in today's video it's a sad day y'all this client had psoriasis psoriasis y'all so let me get myself together <sighs> okay so basically what psoriasis is psoriasis is a infection in the scalp where basically it scales up real bad so it's a very it's a it's an it's an infection in the scalp pretty much so it looks like a lot of people, when they comb through it, they think it's dandruff, but it's really not dandruff. So basically, it's an infection in the scalp, and it scabs up real bad, and like it has a whole lot of flakes built up on top of the skin. Um, the reason why a lot of people get psoriasis is because they either got an immune problem, okay, they got an immune deficiency problem, they need to take care of, and the only way to treat it is go to a dermatologist, the dermatologist will give them some drops to drop on the psoriasis, and it will dry it up, and it will eventually go away. It's completely treatable, but the good thing about this is he already been to the dermatologist. He already got it treated. <laughs> but the scab didn't completely heal all the way, okay? It had the scab on it. It wasn't bleeding. It wasn't really flaky. But when I saw it, I knew what it was, and I was like, but you know what? We got the haircut done. You know what I'm saying? When I did my, when I did my, you know, when I when I looked at the scalp and everything, when I inspected the scalp, I let the client know. I said, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Look, you got psoriasis on your head or something. He was like, yeah, I know. I already seen, I already seen the dermatologist. I already got it treated. So I checked it out, put gloves on, checked it out, and it was good enough, you know what I'm saying, for me to go ahead and cut his hair. So with all said and done, let's go ahead and get to this video. But before we get to this video, let me show you the new, you know what I'm saying, Barber Plug and Good Life Forever Barber Studios. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek, so stay tuned. Peace. Good life forever. Five sixteen, five sixteen, you better do that. Good life forever. Five sixteen, five sixteen, you better do that. thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my my two guard clothes I'm gonna go with the grain the reason why I started with a two guard clothes is because I really wasn't sure how low the client wanted wanted his hair cut um he did I did do a client consultation he said he wanted to lay down a little bit and feeling the texture of his hair it felt really really soft when I initially in so basically I just took my time went in with my two guard clothes and then I eventually came back with my one guard open and I cut a little bit more off the top of his head. So the very first thing I'm gonna do, always do the client consultation, you comb the hair into place. Um, I didn't include that into this video. And then once you comb the hair into place and you, and you inspect the scalp and everything, that's how I found that psoriasis in his hair. It's in the right back corner, right above his occipital bone in his hair. Okay, so that's where the psoriasis is. Um, it's cleared up a whole lot. Y'all not gonna y'all not gonna really see it in this video at all. 
um because it was a really very small spot that's why i went ahead and went ahead with the haircut um it, it's no it's not going to hurt anything at all uh, make sure i sanitize my clippers and stuff after i finish and i just went in took my time you know what i'm saying make sure i knew where the direction of the hair where it was going and i'm just going in and i'm not even pressing in his hair i'm just barely gliding the clipper across his hair all right the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my coilless ball seniors all the way closed i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go in and set up my first ball line all right i'm putting the ball line in with the cordless wall seniors first the reason being is because um that psoriasis spot was in there i didn't just want to go in there with the trimmers you know what i'm saying and, and cut them open and bust them open and then it would have been a whole totally different um situation but it, it this that spot where the psoriasis was um pretty much healed as y'all can see it, he has a red spot right there where his crown area is that's that was the infected spot and it's pretty much healed and it's going away so you know i, I made everything work i got everything um together um he has a job interview um tomorrow you know what i'm saying from when i shot this video he had a job interview the next day so you know i went ahead and took care of him you know what i'm saying sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do man to please your clients now i went in with my with my trimmers and i'm going in i'm going ahead and clean out the rest of that spot remember whatever you put that ball line in is what you got to take that ball line out with so all i'm doing is is just cleaning out that area i'm not going all the way up to that guideline that i set with the with the um with the clipper you know what i'm saying because you don't want to set a card line in there then i got to come back around with my trimmers and knock that line all the way out so i'm just going in i'm cleaning out that area cleaning them up and you know just being careful on my clipper placement so i don't set any more hard or you know hard or harsh lines in there so we're gonna have a difficult time getting that line out and everything i'm brushing them off you always want to brush off your client you want to keep them as, as comfortable as possible let them hair follicles get around their neck get on their forehead get on their face they get to wipe in their face you know you want to keep your client comfortable um give them good conversation um me and him had a really good conversation today in the suite you know what I'm saying about life about things that's going on in the world you know we had a really really good conversation um so now I'm just going back in with my clipper and I'm just going back up to that line all the way closed and basically catching them spots that I kind of miss all right now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my clipper all the way open I'm gonna make my next guideline I'm gonna go up a whole half of an inch okay and then I'm gonna drop it a little bit wider in the back I'm just gonna go all the way around the head make sure you keep everything consistent make sure you keep everything you know you know everything your lines got to be consistent that's the secret to cutting hair okay on this side of his hair his hair kind of grows you know what I'm saying to the side okay so I had to make sure I kind of tilt the clipper a little bit so I can catch that hair while I was growing you know so you know my word for the day is hey i just got back from a we had a hair show in the city the heritory expo my cousin um patriot lovejoy you know what i'm saying she hosted it and everything and i was able to be on the platform and teach a haircutting class so yeah that was all weekend um i really enjoyed the cut party it was a cut party saturday night um where some great artists came on stage it was all white cut party um sunday had to be at the shop, you know what I'm saying? Or I had to be at the suite. I had to cut a couple of heads. And then Monday, um, we went ahead and went on in. And I gave my basic haircutting class. So I basically, I did a ball fade like I'm doing for y'all today on a different client. Um, I didn't charge the client because he was my model. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you get your blessings back. And I'm so thankful that I was able to get on a stage like that. I've never seen myself being a platform artist. Um, I've never seen myself on a platform teaching anything you know i've always just saw myself as being a regular barber and now the next thing i'm doing y'all is going in i'm going ahead and knock in that bottom knock out that bottom line um close the lever all the way make sure you flick below the line and to the line okay and then you know move the levers play with your levers the higher you go in the fade the more you open the clipper the further down you go in the fade the more you close the clipper so that's all i'm doing is i'm just going around the head knocking out that bottom line and as i go up 
I'm knocking out any dark spots that's in where that open part is. I'm opening up the camera a little bit more so I can see what's going on and I'm steadying everything out. And I'm just going in, I'm just, you know, taking my time, knocking everything out and knocking out that bottom line and knocking out as much as possible. But as I was saying was, you know, I never seen myself as a platform artist, stand in front of a platform to teach anybody anything. And I'm so humble and I'm so thankful for that experience. Um, I will have my barber instructor license soon. Um, I go to state board um, possibly next month. So I'm so humble and I'm so thankful to be able to be put in positions to where I can touch others and teach others different things. No, I'm not the most popular YouTuber or, or you know, everything that I present to y'all on these YouTube videos, I pay for this stuff out of my own pocket. You know, ain't none of these companies sending me anything. You know, I'm taking my money, you know, out of my business. I'm investing in these tools to be able to show y'all how they cut and how they operate. You know what I'm saying? And give y'all some of the best content as possible. You know what I'm saying? All I can tell everybody is take your time. With these tools, you know, my advice for any new barbers out there, start off with corded clippers. You ain't got to rush into getting, you know what I'm saying, these cordless clippers and these cordless trimmers and all this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Get these corded, corded you know, get corded clippers. Um, they're a whole lot cheaper, and they're actually a, way more powerful than some of these cordless trimmers are or clippers. You know what I'm saying? And and ball on a budget until you get your clientele up and able to go out here and spend this, you know, two, three hundred dollars for a pair of clippers. All right. You know what I'm saying? And then as time goes, as you save your money, then you just come back around and, you know, you know what I'm saying? And you put the money up and get you something that you really want. But, you know, my advice to everybody is take your time in this industry. These heads ain't going nowhere. It's a head for everybody. You know, everybody's not going to cut them all. You could be the best barber in the world, but you still can't cut the whole world. Okay. So there's no really no competition out here and just stay consistent in your craft, believe in your craft, you know what I'm saying? And work extremely hard in whatever it is that you do. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in here. I'm using the corner of my blade and I'm just knocking out them dark spots and I'm just going back in with that one guard open. Like I said at the beginning of this, of this haircut tutorial and knocking the hair back down and getting the hair laid to where I want to be. I'm just going around doing some detail work and knocking a whole lot of this stuff out, okay? So that's all I'm doing. Now I'm doing it on the other side. I went in and closed it a little bit more to knock a little bit of that hair out. And I'm just keeping everything consistent. All right, y'all, now, now I'm about to start working on the beard. Um, I'm fading the beard the same way I do a regular fade on the head, okay? But instead of fading up like I did on the head, now I'm fading down, all right? So I'm going in all the way closed. I'm making my bald line all the way open. I'm gonna put my one guard in to put, you know, to knock some of that hair down. I'm gonna take that two guard. I'm gonna go with the grain on the hair of the beard to kind of, you know, lay that hair down. And I'm just gonna go in you know, with my half guard and my one guard and knock those lines out, 
to give him a smooth transition in his beard. Okay, then after that, I'm gonna spray his hair with some holding spray, with some hairspray all the way around. I'm gonna spray his beard, I'm gonna spray his um, hairline and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and set him up for the kill shot, which is a lineup. All right, I'm starting on the back of the beard, and I'm just going down and I'm just knocking out, you know, his beard, getting it nice and crispy and straight. And the purpose of that hairspray, y'all, is to hold the hair in place. So when that blade grabs that hair, the hair is not gonna run off from it, okay? And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with his sidebars. You know, as y'all see, it's not a whole lot there, but trust me, I'm gonna get him all the way together. You know what I'm saying? And then he kind of receding on both corners of his hair. You know, I'm gonna zoom in for y'all can see. He's receding right there on that left corner. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the center. I'm not gonna go into that corner. I'm just gonna do a straight line all the way across and make an imaginary line across his hairline, okay? You do not want to push these clients' hairlines back. Just because you're seeing it going back in that half moon shape, you do not push it back there, okay? All you do is just make an imaginary line. I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm going in, making my um, sidebars. It's going to the lower end corner of his eye, and I'm going to start from the center, and I'm bringing it all the way back around, okay? What y'all got to realize with y'all lineups is I need to learn how to go up into that corner, okay? Go up into that corner. When you go up into that corner, you're going to get that result that you're looking for. All right. And after I get this hairline all the way together, I'm going to come back around and I'm going to follow it up. I'm going to follow it up with some fibers to darken his hairline up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Put that razor on him and we're going to go ahead and get this thing all the way together. You too, this is the cut. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you, you know, once you give it a thumbs up, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, a basic ball fade for everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And as always, good life over everything. Peace.